Like I say, I come in peace. I don't want beef with everybody, but I'm ready for war. Uh, speaking about that, uh, before we get out of here, um, I want to talk about Rolo Tomasi real quick. Yeah. Um, I didn't want beef with him, mm-hmm. but uh, he, he came at me with it. And here's just a good example of something he said this past Sunday. on his. He has a five-hour Sunday mm. live stream that he does, right? Mm-hmm. One of the questions in the comments asked him, or they didn't even ask him a question. They, they just made a statement and said, Red Pill doesn't offer solutions. And he told that person not once, but twice, that we're not supposed to. Mm. And this is why people like this are not your leader. This is why. They don't think they should lead. And yes, they are cowards. Like I say, I, when I was on the, um, on the Sash cast, you know, I gave the guy props mm-hmm. for everything he's done within Red Pill and being one of the legends in the game, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and while I was on, <laughs> while I was on the podcast, right, he's in the comments tearing me apart. Mm. Um, I didn't understand it. I uh, didn't find out till after the show. Um, uh, one of two of my uh, staff members brought it to my attention. Rolo Tomasi's in the comments tearing you apart, saying all this different stuff. I mean, I couldn't understand it, man. I just gave him props on the show. Mm. So he let me know then that that he wanted it with me, and he can get it. I love it, right? But he has not kept my name out of his mouth since. New mm. Year's Day, mm. I forgot what I was doing. Uh, he had a New Year's special, uh, seven, eight people on his live. Okay. Here comes my name again. And he, ten- he tends to do this with uh, me and Pearl, right? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, just pearly things. He, uh-huh. he does a lot of bashing of uh-huh. us. He doesn't see her value within the space. Mm. Um, I see her value within the space. Yeah. I know uh, what she's doing. Um, she's very valuable to us. Mm. I know what she's bringing. So um, she's bringing new audiences, uh, massive attention. She's a, uh, she's a female um, and she's, and she's a Caucasian female and yeah. that helps our space out. Yeah, for sure. He doesn't see that. He wants it to be a boys club of bitching and complaining and those days are over. So I didn't put Rolo on that list, but yeah, Rolo's got it with me now. You know, I get, we got a, uh, he wants that smoke. I, I, let's bring it, you know? Um, so, and he just keeps repeating, you know, repetitively doing that. What is it that, um, that he doesn't like that, you, that you're saying? About me or Pearl? Uh, you. Like, what is it he doesn't like that you're pushing? I don't know. He says that, he says I'm low quality. Hmm. <laughs> huh. That's what he said when mm. he, he went on the podcast and Adam asked him, like, what's the problem, right? Mm-hmm. Rolo, one, one part of his statement was that I was low quality or low quality, maybe even as a guest. Now, I'll. I can get with him on that. You know, I was not the best guest on Adam's show my first time out. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm real about it. I got some improvement to do as far as being a uh, public figure or a social media person. It's just not me, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm learning. Um, but for him to be like that, bro, it, it that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. And, and it's not just his thing with me because I can basically take that. What it really boils down to is, if people like him are considered to be the leadership in our space, but every time we get good new rookies come in, good new players, elite, elite players, people with new ideas, every time they come in, you, you, you uh, try to go to war with them and get them out of space. You tarnish mm-hmm. their name. Mm-hmm. How can we move forward and do what's right for our people, yeah. uh, for, for red pillars worldwide or for the American people or people in other countries? You can't do that with people like that who are too, too much of a coward to claim the leadership, yet mm-hmm. at the same time want to keep us in this, uh, in this Wild West circus that is currently Red Pill. Mm-hmm. That has to stop. It has to end. And so Rolo, I now see as part of the problem. On his uh, live stream a few days ago, it was five hours, one of the things he said was about outdated science or technology. And what's so funny about this is I am the guy with the highest level of science and technology in this. Mm-hmm. It is me. And it's very clear and it's about to it, it's going to be very clear i haven't made it clear yet to the world uh hopefully you know your podcast is a part of that yeah, for sure. uh, coming out to the world is what we're trying to do right mm-hmm. um this should be big for all of us and i'm i'm willing to share this with everybody but anybody within our space who is causing division and trying to keep us from achieving our agenda 
those are the people I'm talking about. Those are the people that have to go. So Rolo's definitely on that list. His technology is outdated anyway. Sits there every day, talk about the same thing over and over, and he mm-hmm. just complains about people mm-hmm. constantly. And there's a long list. It's not just me and Pearl. There's a whole bunch of other people. I would lose all of my breath trying to explain it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he's not he's not right for us. Um, I appreciate what he's done for this space, but we have to move forward. Yeah. Um, so he's one of those people. Um, some people, other people, gain popularity within our space, like Andrew and others, mm-hmm. Kevin, um, and they're not. Uh, some of them are not operating under Rokorian law. Yeah. Kevin wasn't. Um, there's still some debate because Mediocre Tutorial said that Kevin didn't really consider himself to be red pill. Mm. Um, if you don't, then come out and say it. Yeah. Because now, right, if Kevin, if you weren't red pill, you should have said it. Because everybody took you as red pill, right? And you yeah. took the fame and money that came along with being one of us. But you were saying the wrong thing. Like, like I tell people all the time, you know, I, we really have to correct his high value man thing. Mm-hmm. He created this thing in the minds of men and women all around the world yeah. that high value man is a thing when it comes to love and relationships. And it's simply not. Mm-hmm. That's what the Rikorian is. Rikorian stands for the meaning of it is in the context of love and relationships. Yeah. When you look at high value man outside of love and relationships, mm-hmm. Yes, what Kevin said was right. Um, high value man is a guy with a lot of money, a lot of network, can help people around him, community. That's not what it is in a relationship. Um, you know, oh, um, young lady working down at McDonald's, uh, she's 20, 26 years old, mm. and she makes about 12 bucks an hour. Um, she doesn't need an NBA player. She doesn't need Drake, you that know, is true. she doesn't That's need, true. right. She, she, she doesn't necessarily need the top lawyer. Mm. She might need the guy who's been at McDonald's for eight to 10 years and mm. he makes about 20 something an hour and they hit it off and they can mm. build a life together and build something. And maybe one day they own their restaurant together. Mm. That's high value. If she's a four, she needs a five. If she's a two, she needs a three. Okay. Not she's a five and needs a 10, 11, 1300 yeah. because all she's going to do is it's a mess. Yeah, true. She's either going to, She's either going to get used by that man or because they keep, that's what our women are mm. doing now. They're all chasing top guys yeah. and are just getting run through. It's so disgusting. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting. But um, they're either going to get used by him or if that man does decide to settle, because I've done that before myself. Mm. If he does decide to settle for a woman who's that low to him, what's he going to end up doing? He's going to end yeah. up so-called cheating. Yeah. Right. And um, so it's a disaster either way. It just doesn't work. And speaking of cheating, I, w- I want to say something, uh, you know, not really groundbreaking for some people, mm. but when, when women do things, when women commit crimes or Rikorian crimes, right? Because mm. I wanted to explain this on the podcast also. <sighs> How do I say it? Women don't commit crimes physically, okay? Mm-hmm. The main thing men want is physical, is the physicality of a woman. That's not the main thing women want. Like like we all know and talk about, women mainly want the resources, yeah. the money. Mm-hmm. So they give up their physicality for it. They sell it for it, a lot of them, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All relationships are transactional, no matter, what any, when, no matter what anybody ever tells you. Mm-hmm. Every single relationship between men and women on this earth is transactional. Yeah. A woman's not going to sleep with a guy that she doesn't feel the transaction with in any way. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when women cheat, and I know this is hard for a lot of people to wrap their head around it, it's not physically. We put so much emphasis on treating women like men in this equality state that we don't understand it. When she cheats, it's financial. Mm. Every time, if you're, if you're a man and a woman in a relationship, you're a man that has a woman that works. Every time she walks out the door and goes to work, she's cheating on you. Mm. That's how this really works. And these okay. are the hardcore red pill truths that nobody wants to face. Yeah. When a man cheats, it's physical. He wants women. That's the overall what he wants. There was a stat that they put out recently. 85% of what a man sees in his in women is the beauty. That's what we want. That's not what women want. Women mm. want the resource. They want the bag. They want the provision. Yeah. So to act like her cheating physically is the same as him, completely, totally different thing. Mm. That's why when a woman makes Say they got together, he made 50000 a year, she made nothing. 
He was taking care of her. They were living. Then she goes out, gets a career. She's really hot. So she gets a career and a boss at the job. The guy hires her just on how hot she is. He keeps wanting to be with her, sleep with her. He makes, he makes it to where she earns 70000 a year. Her, mm. her boyfriend, her husband, still earns fifty. Guess what? She doesn't have to have intercourse with someone to now view her boyfriend or husband as lesser. Mm. And maybe she starts to think she can do better. Mm. And then she starts to look, because women are prone to leadership and masculinity and power, she starts to look at her boss differently, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's, now she has a physical affair because the cheating for her starts financial. When women cheat, it's financial. I need every man on planet Earth to know that. It's not about her going and sleeping with somebody else. It's about the money she receives or the money that you lose mm. or you cannot give to her. That's what it always boils down to when it comes to that cheating. Just like female crime, uh, abuse in relationships, right? Mm. We have we always hear about how men abuse, men abuse, because people are constantly focused on the men are physical, right? Um, men were put here to control the physical world of planet Earth. That's why we're big, strong. We lift rocks, we build stuff. Mm. That's men. They're physical. They're here to dominate the physical world. Women are here to dominate the emotional world. And that's why women have so much power. When wars get fought, it's usually be something to do with women. When, those, when men go build those big buildings, there's a woman behind it. Mm. You know, um, behind every great man is a great woman. She controls the emotional world. Um, Will Smith didn't smack Chris Rock that night, right? Yeah. Jada did. Yeah. It's her power. That. Yeah. I She's the emotion that. behind it, right? Sure. So that's good. No, no, I agree with you. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so that's really what we're dealing with. So when you look at abuse in relationships, um, cause somebody was in my comments last week, I think on Instagram mm. talking about how women leave abusive relationships. I can understand that. We mm. all understand that. We've yeah. all seen, you know, horrible situations where that was going on. But at the same time, what we fail to understand or bring attention to is the fact that not most or average men, even the abusers don't just wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to be abusive to my woman physically. Yeah. And they don't just come home from work just saying they're going to do that. And, and just thinking that way and then going through that process. We're all choosing to lie and listen to lies when really, in most of these cases, most of these cases, it's the, emo the emotional abuse that we don't put any weight to. Mm. Emotional abuse is horrible. And when a man goes through that, you, you see, even back to Jaden Will, you can see his destruction yeah. emotionally. Yeah. He's been putting him through all types of hell for years. It has torn that man apart. It isn't even about her cheating thing. He probably could have just got over that where she physically cheated. True. It's really the emotional damage, the constant messing with his head, making him feel less than a man, degrading him. This is what a lot of women do in relationships because remember, once again, we now live in a society where they don't have to respect men at all mm. can treat men like crap and don't need them. So then she emotionally abuses him sometimes for weeks, sometimes for months, sometimes for years. And it's this that we're failing to see. We're failing to see and prosecute female crime. Mm. We prosecute male crime. Yeah, so do. if there's a great, we say, Oh, it was physical. It's a male. It's a, it's a, it's a physical crime. He needs to go to jail or prison. If it's a physical abuse, anything physical that men do, we punish, we prosecute. But when women commit their crimes, which are all emotional, generally, right? Mm -hmm. And in general, nothing is prosecuted. They can even bring fake charges endlessly on endless men. And we, even when found out the charges are fake, not, not face prosecution in most cases. So we have a real problem on our hands. And why am I saying that? I'm not saying that to get at women, this and that. The reason I'm saying that is, and this is very important, if you stop the, phys the, the emotional abuse within relationships and households, mm. I, I got a feeling you'll see a very dramatic decrease in physical abuse, right? Yeah. Like I say, they're connected. These aren't guys that just wake up and start beating on people. Mm -hmm. Usually it comes from something that was said or something that was that they've been going through, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm talking about just in those cases. So to keep women and families safe and to keep men out of having legal trouble and out of jail and prison, mm. that's what we need to tackle. You need to tackle emotional abuse, making it extremely illegal in a lot of settings. Yeah. 
when if it comes out of a wife or girlfriend's mouth something so highly disrespectful that it that it leads somebody to be that way we don't keep putting a band-aid on what happened mm -hmm. you look at the cause and you fix it and that's what we're not doing everybody's behind but um i'm not i'm not confused at all about none of this and uh we need to fix it all and you got the right message man i hope everybody gets gets this man right. gets on board <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're trying to get there, man. It's a lot. Yeah. Um, and we talk endlessly. I, I think, you know, um, this was a great interview. I'd love to come back on your show, man. Yeah, for sure. For um, sure. As we move forward <laughs> and build, I like to be yeah. a regular regular customer over here, man. It's just yeah. a very comfortable environment. And we have a lot more to cover. And there's going to be a lot more different things to talk about as we move forward, right? Yeah. Um, you know, just, just awesome. Um, and I, I'm excited today. So you have to excuse me. I can't stop smiling. Um <laughs> You know, just everything going on. It's moving so yeah. fast. Like I say, we September first, right? Yeah. Tell people that to move so quickly. Man, that's that's uh, the best very, I can say. Is, yeah, it's, it's pretty fast, man. It's but it's quality over quantity. Yeah. Somebody on YouTube comments a few days ago. He says, "Boy, <laughs> he said you sure have a lot of subscribers for somebody." He said, "I had forty minutes of uh, footage." Subscribers <laughs> say you have a lot of forty minutes of footage. And I, I did respond back to that comment, and I said, "Yeah, it's uh, quality over quantity." Yeah, yeah. You know, um, we're we're about quality for the people over here, and there's so many men and women that are suffering right now. I wanted to do something special for everybody right before Christmas because I know a lot yeah. of people, because of what's going on, because of the recording offset, yeah. a lot of people are alone right now during the holidays. You know, or they were during the holidays, mm -hmm. and that can be a time where people hurt themselves or self delete themselves. So. It's a tough time, but, you know, for anybody watching, just understand we are going to fix it. It is, it is going to be fixed. Um, the long-term fixes will, yeah, those are going to take like 15, 20 years because you have to go through a generation to cleanse everything, cleanse everything out. Yeah. Um, and under what we're trying to do, um, you know, people will still have the freedom to do what they want. If you want to be a working woman, you'll be able to be a working woman. Mm. But for the young ladies who want to be a real woman, a real housewife, we're going to have opportunities for you to be that. For the, for the men who want to be real men and have a real family, we're going to create those opportunities again. Because if you look around right now, it's hard to accomplish. Uh, if a young lady's not in the streets promis promiscuous, twerking and selling herself or working for some company, she's, just, she's kind of bullied these days. And yeah. that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Why are you bullying our young ladies into being men, into, being, uh, into prostituting themselves? Mm. That's not the American way, and I I'll give my life to see it change. So that's what we're doing. Let's fight, baby. I'm on board, man. We're going we gonna to make this a regular. All we need is another set of uh, right? just uh, goals and questions. Hey, at least man. once I'm a quarter. Send, yeah, for sure, man. I'm, I'm going to send, send you a list, man. And then uh, as soon as you get it done, man, we'll, we'll get it back on video again. Appreciate you doing the show. Man. For sure, for Catch sure. Catch you guys man. on the next one. All right, man. Appreciate you. See you in a minute. All right, thanks.